How's it going guys? Today we'll be taking a look at LG's 29-inch ultra-wide monitor for general consumption, mainly on watching YouTube and Netflix. Tools that you should be using to maximize your entire ultra-wide monitor and my overall experience. Hi, my name is Ken and welcome back to the channel where we talk about filmmaking, photography, iPad pro related content and tech. If any of this speaks your interest, consider subscribing to the channel as we learn a thing or two from these videos. Here are some of the topics that we'll be discussing today. Sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Let's start right in. In case you have yet to check out my other videos about the LG 29WK600 Ultra Wide Monitor, from the unboxing to the 3 month review and onto some specific everyday tasks using the Ultra Wide Monitor, I'll leave a drop down card on the right hand side for you to check it out later. With that out of the way, let's dive right into the video. So, watching videos on the Ultra Wide Monitors can be kind of finicky and you might need some time to get used to it. As mentioned in the previous videos that the ultrawide monitor's 29 by 9 aspect ratio where its resolution is at 2560 by 1080p which means the monitor is slightly wider than the regular 1920 by 1080p this takes a toll on all the videos that you'll be viewing on the monitor. Now let me explain. When viewing it on a regular 16 by 9 aspect ratio monitor normally when it is in full screen mode it covers the entire frame However, while viewing it at full screen mode on a 29x9 ultra wide monitor, renders you black borders on both sides. Even because the original format of the video is at 16x9, and hence it will never ever fill up the frame. At the moment, most YouTube video formats are at 16x9, and yeah, you will have to deal with this when viewing it on full screen mode on ultra wide monitors. So, does that mean that you will forever be bugged with the black borders each time you watch a YouTube video that was exported at 16x9? Fret not, because there are Google extension tools to help filling up the entire ultra wide screen in order to utilize the entire frame. So if you have not heard of zoom to fill for ultra wide video, consider installing this extension tool specifically for Google Chrome. I'll leave a link in the description box below in case you are interested. And if you're not using Google Chrome, please use it for this sake. This tool works best for YouTube and Netflix videos. So the next two examples will be based on these two platforms about its video viewing experience. Well, of course, there are trade-offs by using this tool is that you will experience a slight crop in. And the experience will be the same as viewing any video on your iPhone or any other phone that comes with the notch. Well, to enter full screen mode on your phone for the video to fill the entire frame, you would have to pinch out on your phone to actually fill up the entire screen. However, this renders the video to be slightly cropped in and you will lose some composition. The same logic applies right here, if you can look past losing some composition from the video, then you ought to utilize your entire ultra wide screen. What well, a good thing about using these ultra wide monitors for watching film or movies produced by big blockbusters is that natively some videos aspect ratio could be exported in 21 by 9 I'm not sure if you realize when you're watching cinematic film or movie, there are black borders on the top and bottom. And when viewing this on an ultra wide monitor on full screen, this is where the monitor shines. You get an actual full screen on the ultra wide monitor, which could possibly be the most immersive experience when watching a film or a video. Do take note that there are YouTube videos exported in 21x9. For instance, to verify this, if you have an ultra wide monitor, head on to Chris Broker's YouTube channel and check out his anamorphic video. Watch it in full screen mode and you will realize that he uploaded this video file in 21x9 aspect ratio, which is the standard cinematic format for film. And in that particular video, he was demonstrating the actual use of an anamorphic lens that captures an aspect ratio of 21x9 in his raw footage footage produced by his camera, which is perfect when viewing on an ultra wide monitor. Apart from the aspect ratio of the ultra wide monitor, this LG monitor also features HDR effect by a click of a button in case you want more colors on your screen. I turned on the HDR effect when viewing some Netflix movie and it was pretty impressive. And that pretty much sums up all I have for you guys in this video about using the LG 29 inch ultra wide monitor for general media consumption when watching YouTube or Netflix. Hopefully you guys find this insightful. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave me a comment down below. I'll be sure to get back to you guys as soon as possible. As always, thank you all so so much for watching. I will see you all very very soon. Stay safe, peace out, and bye bye.